going up. So, oh, I should have turned off the AC. Oh well, we'll just freeze to death for this. Uh, you notice there's like an overwhelming amount of bear puns, and it really fucks up your understanding of what this game is because it seems like shit. We just did a sewer level. There's two levels called Bear, and then there's some Ruins level, and then this. Oh. I didn't fully come off the platform. Again. Why are there still bosses of his fighting me? Are the Komodo brothers a different kind of evil? Are they chaotic neutral? It just feels really weird when they do this shit, you know, where it's like, gotta have bosses, and it's like, well, why are they fighting me? Aren't they your allies? He's like, and that's probably why they had an all new, pretty much all new casts for this, so that you could have that degree of like, well, you know, they could just be acting on their own accord. You know, no theory that they, oh. Okay, that's on me. So anyway, like I was saying yesterday, uh, yesterday, last session, <laughs> same session. Um, oh, hello. Oh, he got me. Uh, yeah, I was picking up money today. Uh, and I hate picking up money in the person because it just feels, even though there's nothing wrong with me picking up money at all, because it's like, I talk for these people, they owe me money, I'm glad they pay me my, oh. No one eats my shoes in this. Wow, this is hard, man. Uh, what was it saying? Yeah, so anyway, I, I received this money. And, oh good, you can spin them. It's always a hard to hit them properly. So again, this is like the third sewer level, sewer level, third surf level in free warp rooms. Ooh, that was spicy. So you gotta kind of try and chip this, yeah, rub it around. Oh, I just get fucking wrecked. It's fine. So yeah, this is also why I was always a bit like. I feel like this game was just always a little more, uh... I just think he's close enough. This guy's close enough. Um... Yeah, that's why I always felt like this game was a bit, like more repetitive than the others, because there would be like several levels where it's just like the same theming. Yeah, can we get that? <laughs> there we go. And you would just, I always felt a bit like, really, we're doing this again? But obviously as a kid I didn't really notice as much, but it did make me feel like, it feels like we're just playing more of the same levels than we were in any other Crash game. Because you think about Crash 1, it's like two tops of each theme. Crash 3 also kind of overstays its welcome with certain levels, but, you know, I think mostly because I enjoyed those, I was just like, nah, it's fine. Ooh! Got a sneaky snap in. <laughs> oh, look, and you got to do both sides, look. It gets real weird, boys. So you've got these guys impeding your progress, and you've got to get all the boxes. Like, not that this is, like, boring, though. I like this level, and like I was saying in the first, the last, whatever. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you. Sure. Uh, 
sure there was a death route of some kind for this one. Oh well, we got something. Yeah, a lot of people love Crash 2 though, they think it's the best one. I think it's fine, I just, I don't know, I played them in a weird order and I just think my love of it just as a result is really messed up because like I played 1, 3, 2. Um, which just messes up your, like, perspective and shit. Uh, what was I saying, though? I, I'll, I'll try and finish each story rather than being, like, pinging around. So, yeah, like I was saying, this one, this one doesn't have an eel. I think this is the one that starts showcasing the annoying... Ooh, and this guy. Random welding man who feels like he needs to flame throw the. <laughs> they had this really iconic sound before, where they were like, <laughs> like every time. Of... Oh, or well, fuck me, I guess. Uh, yeah. So, like I was saying, uh, we, I've documented a lot why I don't have as much love for Crash Two. Crash 2 is by no means a bad game. Crash 2 has a lot of great elements. It just, however, has a lot of... Ooh, I didn't deserve that at all. Can't you just jump on the fucking... There we go. Oh, just, I hate it. There. No, I don't hate this game. This game is fine. It's just... It's the game where I paid the least amount of attention to it and... Yeah, we're just going to have to get boxes. So I think I'm going to do this one. See, because there's a gem path and all this shiz anyway. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Let's start really layering these guys in. Uh, yeah, so I finished my one story. I'm like, it's like this one time I was watching a Ross Noble gig and literally on DVD, and literally all he did was like spend like three hours talking about something that someone left on his stage at that gig and never got onto any of his material, and it drove me nuts. So I'm sorry, everyone, because I'm doing that right now where I'm like, oh, look over there. Yeah, it sound like I'm just constantly losing focus, which I pretty much am. So yeah, admissions to alleged crimes. I uh, received money for doing a job I did, which I probably shouldn't have been doing, but was doing it anyway, because I like to eat food and survive, and Chinese people love to profit off of other people's work and rip, rip off white people blind and black people even worse, because greed and holes. Yeah, apparently my BMW driving principal, who had millions upon millions of profit, couldn't afford after spending most of it on lavish events for herself and her own fucking ego and trips, school trips to Australia, in which only she and a parent who also paid for her kid to go separately went and she could go shopping, but the school paid for, oh look! Something really fucked up because one of the nitros hopped as the outline box got filled out. That's interesting. I've never seen this happen before. This will probably make it impossible for me not to get nitros. Yeah. That is the first time I've ever seen that, which just shows they're interacting with the environment in a very more real quote unquote way. I'll pay attention to that next time. Yeah, apparently my billionaire fucking boss couldn't possibly, oh, he did it again, uh, couldn't possibly spare enough money to keep her staff alive, and all I was told repeatedly throughout this transaction was, well, we're all dealing with that, why, well, you got a problem with the way that she's treating us? And I'm like, actually, fucking yes, because she's paying us £100 a month, expecting us to do five days' worth of lessons still, just online. And then is shouting at us because we're not putting maximum effort in anymore because she's literally dropped my salary by about 
two grand and expected me to somehow pay my rent still. So fuck her. That's why I left. And in between that, I just worked solo gigs and was self-employed, which is fine. And you can really make a lot of money here being self-employed, but there's a lot of risk and it's a lot of like sourcing your own shit. And I just can't be bothered. Uh, uh, just too much work. And it's like, oh yeah, technically speaking, you can make more money per hour, but then you're gonna have to like fill up your hours as if you have a nine to five job with separate students and you're going to have to do a lot of calendar merging and making sure you don't override certain things and overlaps and double books and shit and it's just, oh, oh well there's enough. It's, there's a lot of these, look. Oh. Okay, that was obviously not what I was supposed to do. It's fine. We'll split path. I feel like if I do that and go back this way, it'll make my life easier. Although, which, they both just have flaming, flaming them. <laughs> Could say it better. Look like he's about to drop down again. I don't know which way is the right way. Well, the, I, both ways are the right way, that's good. Oh no, I've done it wrong. Please stop being electric. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Just, they used to have a weird range on the fire and it just used to fuck me over. And the timing is very short look. Basically, whenever you see a lab assistant in the first two Crash games, it's, oh, ridiculous, hokey, strange, like, timing that really fucks you over a lot, and you're like, what? Like this, look. Where it's like, you either jump into the fire or wait for the platform to drown you into electric water, so, hooray. Luckily, they obviously learned in testing to spawn these guys from the roof, which they did in the first iteration of two. That's how you deal with that. Um, but it just, yeah, <laughs> just feels sometimes a bit like A lot of anxiety dealing with those lab assistants because they're always a bit like, oh, that's a very short window, that doesn't feel very great. Oh, yeah, now I see it, now I see it. Oh, well, it's only a little bit of a trot back and forth. That's why you completely destroy the fans and shit so you can go back and forth a bit easier. Uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, so I went and picked up money today, and whenever I pick up cash money, I'm like, yeah, and that's the problem, right? I pick up cash money and I'm like, oh, I'm not like, oh, I'm like, ah, uh, great. Oh, oh, there we go. Just throwing my hits away. Uh, what's the saying? God, I'm phasing out again. Please stop. Oh, fuck me, I guess. That, he, he bounced me off. He bounced me off. This is the one. Don't need to worry about the electric timing, that's what throws people off. One! One. Whatever. And yeah, like, straight afterwards I went on like a bit of a bonanza. I didn't even spend any of the cash money, because I paid for everything on like, my, uh, my, tra my mobile-based transaction method of choice.
yeah, she's kind of working with us at the same time. We feel like they could have a conversation because she's now playable, but whatever. Bears. And yeah, because everything's called Bear after a while, you're like, huh, huh, this doesn't sound great. Are they all just bear run levels that are about a minute length in length? And for a bit, you're suddenly like, oh, they're all like this. And then it suddenly turns in, flips the script on you, and you're like, oh, no, okay. But we'll get to that. You can enjoy that the way I enjoyed it. Where I was like, more bear levels? And as a kid, I was like, I like the bear levels. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. But, like, really? We're just going to have five bear levels per, like, walkroom now? Is that you just run out of ideas that quickly? Just count how many, uh... Oh, I just did it exactly the same thing again. Fucking run, dipshit. Um... We need to remember how to control bears. Uh... But then you think how many, mo the, how many motorcycle, plane much more mini-games-esque kind of levels in uh, Crash 3 there are, and I'm always like, oh, that's one of my favorite ones. It's like, yes, yeah, so I can't really talk. It became much more mini-gamey. Oh. Still not really getting this. <laughs> Please stop sending me right to back to the beginning. They're sure, but, like, I'm just fucking up a lot. Oh well, let's just get to the end of this one. Ugh, Whaley. There we go. Oh, these guys, I forgot about you. They used to literally just, they weren't ice blocks before, they were literally just the crates, the like, metal crates. They used to be really annoying because they were really difficult to like, on what they were going to move. Ooh! Wailed. Whaley good. So yeah, I had money. And I didn't even use the money today. I was just like, fuck it, it's my day off. I've actually got money in my pocket for once instead of just like in my bank account. Because when it's in my bank account, I think to myself, nah, I'm going to save it because I'm like, it's, I'm sensible or... <laughs> Double kill, uh, crash cubed. Double cubed, ice cubed, and ice cubed. Let's just focus on not dying for this bit. There we go. All running. Sometimes that was that never used to just be a singular dash. You could just hold that before. Oh. very much fathoming when it wants you to do precision shit and when it wants you to dash over impossibly large chasms if you don't dash. So, you know, like here, it really just wants you to be precise. You got fucking hit by the pole there. Oh, okay. Pretty expecting it to... Okay. Alrighty. You're just gonna... He just stays down. That's what I'm on about. They're really unpredictable. They don't have like a... They're not like the shield guys on the hog ride in the first game. Maybe they are, and I'm just done. Ooh! Ooh! Oh. Can't get me if I go fast. See this shit here? You see those platforms? There's a secret warp. But I forget what's in it, and I'm kind of nervous. So we'll come back to that at the end of this session. We'll mess around with that because I don't think I ever finished it. Or if I did, it was like a pain in my ass, and I was like, why did I do this? I didn't even get much from it. I can't remember what it was. Standard progression first. Now, I love ruin levels. In every Crash game, I always love the ruin levels. One, two, and three. I even like these ones. I really like these ones. I always used to think they were cool. Just ruins in general in the Crash games were always done really well. They start hiding nitros behind these four box walls here, so you've got to be careful about just spinning into them. These are bandicoots, right? Or are they mice now? They used to look like the 
Bandicoot said, oh, this creepy monkey follows you around. Oh, hello. They used to look like the barred bandicoots, you know, the, the orange barred bandicoots. But I don't think anyone got the reference when they saw a real bandicoot, because a lot of people do haven't seen a real bandicoot. Ooh. And then they say, this is Crash Bandicoot, and you're like, oh, they're orange. And then you see a real Bandicoot, and you're like, oh, they look nothing like what I expected. Um, again, Death Root, maybe. I, I kind of just want to show the level. Um, these guys, you have to slide because they have the, the fronds on their head. first one they do it, they, they troll you by going, look, boxes. The next one you do it, you have to do it anyway to get all the boxes, and it's just all nitros. Yeah, I like all of the ruins, the temple ruins, sunset vista style ruins, these style ruins, and the, uh, the, in, the inside style ruins that they did in, um, Crash 1, and did they do much in the way of ruins in Crash 3? It was mostly just, uh, oh, he started moving. Uh, it wasn't really, was it? It was more just, like, Egyptian tomb in good condition and Arabic city in still inhabited, so. Oh, yeah, it starts doing this shit. Haha, <laughs> we're wasting your time, fuck you. That's what that always felt like. <laughs> What's weird is watching those reassemble themselves so that you can go backwards. Who's doing that? That's magical, right? Weird and magical. Pretty, pretty pedestrian kind of bonus level there. So yeah, I spent a lot of money today going to a fancy restaurant, and I sat down after... I hadn't eaten breakfast. I went late to this thing. Oh, these always get me. Whoa. Uh, I hadn't eaten breakfast, and I went late to see this... Oh, monkey. Ah, uh, fucked up the timing. So I had this massive lunch, and the waiters and waitresses in China are famously incredibly rude and comment on everything that you fucking do. So like, I went to this Cantonese restaurant, and I had free pork buns, and like this curry dish that was designed for multiple people, having not eaten all day, and have not been, I haven't eaten since, which is probably not good for me. And I was just like, you know what, I just want to, I just want to eat. The giant bear opens the secret passage. Oh, thanks, giant bear. So it kind of spoils this, but originally you're like, oh, uh, why is it called unbearable? This is a boulder stage, right? Oh, no. There's a horrible bear. And it used to look really fucking scary and look like it literally had blood on its teeth. And you were like, oh... Why is there this horrible, murdering, sharp-toothed bear? A load of the guides are like, haha, it's the older brother of the bear you were riding who's getting his revenge, ha 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 ha. And you're like, oh yeah, that's the ha, hilarious joke. Back in the days when gaming magazines used to have very unfunny fucking writers and would be like, ha ha ha, no, I'm funny, shut up. And you'd be like trying to glean any humor from their journalism and you're like, oh wow. Game journalists are just not fucking funny, I guess. <laughs> to be honest, that's still true to this day. <laughs> like, spent a lot of time watching game journalists, even on in the YouTube format, going and going, "Wow, these guys just aren't fucking funny, are they? They're just boring and tropey and kind of racist or just kind of assumptive, small-minded, unentertaining people." And it's like. Yeah, you kind of grow out of it after a while, and you're like, ah, oh, I'll just form my own opinion by playing the game or watching content of it, you know, instead of 
listening to idiots go, ha, 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 this is shit because there's too many white people in it, or this is too shit because it's too much like another game. And I said, well, what if I want another one of those games? No, it's boring. It should be interesting and different and vogue. And it's like, yeah, I get if you play 50 games in quick succession that all feel exactly the fucking same, that you'll be begging for something new, but some of us only play two a fucking year. Some of us is, don't have infinite money or an entire fucking group of people pay, paying for us to <laughs> jump to review everything. It's one or the other. You're either self-funded, in which case, do I really care about the opinions of someone rich enough to be going out and buying a new game every 30 seconds? Or you've got a company paying them for you paying for you to do that and it's like well I feel like your opinion swayed somehow so it's like yeah just form your own opinion it's better watch me fuck it up yeah for once I predicted right even though it ended in my death um yeah so they're really judgmental here uh the waiters and they were just looking at me like oh you fat bastard you're eating like and I said yeah I am eating a lot but I haven't eaten any of a meal today so and to be honest I enjoyed it and I mowed through that shit and I was like yeah this is awesome and I already give a shit what people think of me though so you really have to grow a tough skin over here because people literally come and stare at you while you eat and start trying to take photographs of you and then wonder why you go up to them and flip them off because it's like, how about fuck you? You see, if you'd press that nitro detonate box before doing the this, you would have actually fucked up the playthrough. Because the outline boxes were nitros. And, oh, it wouldn't have counted. Oh yeah, it's just, it's just, what? Uh, what was I saying? A lizard. Ah. Oh. So yeah, again, more fetch questing, more bullshit. I'm fed up of every time I have one day off having to cross the entire city I live in. See, it pinged him away this time, but last time, whatever. Um, oh. Oh, I don't know how that counted, but sure. Oh. I wonder why he stopped. I thought he was just posing so they could let that, that bear load into the wall. It's like, no, we're... <laughs> People who talk shit about crashes towards the camera, this is the ultima of that, where you're like, I'm moving fast on a badly handling polar bear whilst another polar bear chases me into the camera. That's when I can sit there and honestly say, yeah, they're starting to really fuck with you at that point because a lot of people can't deal with that pers that perspective of him running towards you while something is chasing you into your screen. I can totally get it. Is this tiny tiger already? This makes it even more confusing. So Tiny Tiger, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna mix this in with another horrible lore dump. Tiny doesn't pay attention to his surroundings. This this one is probably the boss that I have the biggest trouble with that isn't Cortex. You'll see why. He follows you. These fall down. You've got to stay on the one that will fuck him over. When it will fuck him over. Oh. And yeah, you can you can dead end yourself. You played yourself. Yeah, and he starts doing this. He can jump diagonals. Which you can as well. But you can't jump as far as... 
<laughs> I say, he can't jump as far as you. It's like, yeah, yeah, and you can't jump that far anymore either, apparently, so fuck me, I guess. Yeah. You flap your wings. Cheeto mascot that lost his sunglasses. It also looks like you could jump from where he came from. You cannot. Also, I don't think there's much point even if you could. Oh, shit. Yeah, and they start doing that shit where they're like, better run, fucko. Sure he used to have a longer health bar. What was I saying, anyway? Crash is canonically 10 years old. But Coco is canonically in her teens. Oh. Wow. Oh, I nearly had him as well, didn't I? Too busy talking about mindfuckery. Coco is canonically in her teens. Crash is canonically 10. Crash is also canonically the older sibling. Work that the fuck out. Coco is the little sister. And is always described as such in game manuals. Lol. Textbook error from Tiny there. Oh, I hope someone got fired for that blunder. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Um, yeah, like the 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 wiki on canon ages for characters and the Crash wiki lore is. Fucking dumb. Oh, that didn't count. Balls. It's really you gotta make him jump into it, you know. Oh no, he's gonna do the diagonals now. Oh. Poop. Yeah, I don't want to be able to do anything with that. Let's just jump around forever. <laughs> Playing hopscotch over here. No, too slow. Butts. Oh. Lol. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't hate this level. I think this level's actually really good. This boss fight is very good. It's just, it's the one I have the most trouble with, because there's a lot of, like, platforming back and forth. And I've never been good at that. <laughs> well, I was alright as a kid, but it's like, just the speed and the reactions that they want. And they do this to you, where it's like, all of them. Before, it used to be like, all of them except for the one furthest from you, and you'd be like, Argh. Yeah. GG, good game. Oh yeah, and the Crash fandom canon ages are fucked up, and Torna doesn't even have a canon age. And neither does any other character aside from Crash with a numbered age. And Coco is just described as in her teens. And I'm pretty sure, like... Oh, Crash is telling me to hurry the fuck up with my bullshit yarn. Um, I'm pretty sure Cortex and Brio don't have any canon ages, but I didn't check them. So I sat there like, wait, Crash has a girlfriend. Torna's his girlfriend. Torna's way taller. What, what are their ages? Just out of interest, I mean, like... They're fucking cartoon animals, so it doesn't really matter. But you're really posting adult themes to this ten-year-old, <laughs> apparently. But he is a bandicoot, I guess. That's quite old for a bandicoot. I don't think they live that long. Yeah, I was just a bit like, wait, what? Oh yeah, before we finish, let's show the secret, the horror, the horror. You know, I didn't have enough trouble beating it the first time. Let's do a secret one, a secret thing in the end. Also, don't get me wrong. Oh, uh, I got that wrong. Don't get me wrong, I love the hidden secret ending, secret path thing, and I wish more games did it. Um, but, like, at the same time, sometimes it can be in Crash Bandicoot, because they don't signpost them at all, and it used to be very much like Street Fighter mentality and shit, where you're sat there like, wait, I'm sorry, what? You 
how was I supposed to fucking get that? And it's like, you just have to be a really big fan, okay? What do you mean you don't know how to do the Raging Demon? It's like, you just have to learn it or buy the magazine where they put the actual codes in as if they're cheat codes. And you're like, the fuck, man? How am I supposed to know that shit? Again, that feels like you could hop hop, but I, I'm not hopping. I'm doing these big arcing jumps. Ugh. Wasting lives doing shit. Getting to a thing that will also make me waste lives and probably game over, so... Ow. Ow. They fucked it up again. Uh... Yeah, so let's talk about more stuff about Cannonball. Kinda needed that. Very needed that. Oh, I have to do this shit again. Um, yeah, they kinda just throw shit at you in this. With the secret lives. And also, yeah, Cannon Ages. Weird. So Crash is in a... And then they kind of like retroactively go, yeah, Torna and Crash aren't together, and like, even in the, there's apparently mangas where, oh, where canonically Torna runs away with Pinstripe, and I'm like, are you serious? That's hilarious. There's a lot of stuff that was only in mangas in Japanese in Japan for some reason around Crash Bandicoot, including basically all of the lore for Penta Penguin, which is why whenever you see Penta Penguin in the West, you're like, oh, it's a penguin, I guess. I don't I don't know this character. And they're like, what do you mean? It's Penta Penguin. And you're like, oh, you mean this thing that was basically only released in Japan and even a Crush Bandicoot super fan such as myself doesn't know about them in the West. Oh, oh. Oh, it's fine, we did it. We do it. Down? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, some real weird shit. Oh. I can see the time trials for this being out of bullshit. Who? why did I wait? Oh. Just miss everything, why not? Why don't we? Oh. So we're gonna go back and do this and probably drown attempting to even get to it. Because look at this. Oh, you have two pixels of fucking camera to deal with. Secrets. Secrets. Ah, I'm sorry, I forgot that this existed. How oh, fuck. Can we just go in this? Can we go in any of these? I forgot this warp room existed. I'd erase this from a totally bear. Totally fly. <laughs> and these are just secret paths for snow go over to ruin an air crash. And there's a save room. So let's, let's extend this even longer and do the secret air crash, I guess. Is it even... Yeah, okay, I was going to say, if it just starts you off at the beginning of the level and be like, I'm, I'm sorry, what's so secret? Oh, if you jumped on here, you would have uh, instead of taking the board. Okay, I wasn't going to do that because I'll... Set fire to his butt. Kinda need those lives, but I'm not I'm not gonna do that. Skip to when I do do that. Oh look. Just shit fucking with me, cause yeah. That's what I need. No, there we go. Is that it? That's it? Oh, okay. So basically you can't get all the boxes on this. Oh, okay. Oh. Instant mask transmission.
better there's a better slide to spin transition in these games than the originals. So yeah, it introduced that thing of just here's a secret area. We're not gonna put you to the beginning of the level after doing the secret area. Oh no. Middle of the level it is, backtrack and then go forward. You're like, no, I I refuse. <laughs> I'll do it later off screen because it's not exactly that exciting. Even this isn't really that exciting. This is a level we saw two playthroughs ago. Or one playthrough ago. I can't, oh, I'm losing track. Um. What? What? That, that's bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that. It sank immediately. Oh, let's just get to the end of this, because I'm not doing this properly anyway. This is where I am doing it properly. Oh, this game is just like psychological insults. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta do it in case. Probably not doing it right. I got 70 out of 100 boxes. I'm pretty sure I missed some in the... What am I doing? Not paying attention. Thinking of Canon Crash's age and how a ten-year-old is dating a Pamela Anderson rip-off model, and then isn't, because that's weird. And then they're like, "Oh, it's more kid-friendly." And then they're like, "He's ten. He's the older brother. Here's a girl in her teens." Wait, how does that make sense? If she's a teen, that means she's older than him, right? Where are their parents? Is Torna her, their parents? That's even more fucked up. What is this? Alabama bandicoots? I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah. I get those wumps. Wee. Oh, yeah. Because this shit right here. Come on, boost me up, chubby. Oh, it didn't work. Mm. Oh, well, fuck this playthrough. Oh, I can see it. I can see it. It would have been fine. It would have been... Oh, my ass got blown up anyway. I hate it when that happens. Um, um, <laughs> then he grazed me anyway. So yeah, I'm just confused by the crash cannon, and I feel like the crash cannon is deliberately confusing because nobody put any effort into it past a certain point. You know, it's like, here are some cool characters, or some funny or interesting or diverting characters, and you're like, oh, okay. And then they're like, that's it. Oh yeah, there's four boxes, but there would have been one more, so it's fine. That would have trolled me even further. So that's how you fail. I'll start a new session. Ugh. <laughs> oh.